In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up ModMailBot on Discord. First things first, you're going to want to make sure you're logged into Discord. Open your favorite browser and type in the Discord login URL. Or just search for Discord login in your search engine of choice. Upon arriving at the login page, you'll be prompted to enter your email and password. If you've forgotten your password, don't worry. Discord has a password recovery option to help you regain access. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll find yourself on the Discord home screen. This is the starting point for our journey in setting up the ModMail bot. Now let's navigate to your Discord server where you want the ModMail bot to operate. If you're part of multiple servers, you may find them listed on the left side of your screen. Feel free to click on the server of your choice for further actions. With the server now open, look for the app directory button. It might feel a bit like a treasure hunt, but it's commonly found at the bottom of your server's channel list or within the server settings. The app directory is where Discord houses a remarkable collection of useful bots and tools designed to enhance your server's functionality and your overall experience. Now it's time to summon the ModMail bot into our server, but first we need to find it. Enter ModMail in the search bar within the app directory. As you type, you'll notice suggestions pop up. It's like magic, but better because it's technology. Find ModMail amongst the search results and click on it. This will bring you to the ModMail bot's application page, a small glimpse into the capabilities and features you're about to add to your server. Here comes the exciting part. Adding ModMail bot to your server, look for the add app or install button on the ModMail bot's page. Clicking this button initiates a series of steps that Discord will guide you through, which includes selecting the server where you wish to install ModMailBot. Make sure you choose the right server where you have the necessary permissions to add bots. It's like being handed the keys to a powerful car. You need to make sure you're ready to drive. Upon selecting the server, you might be asked to grant specific permissions to the ModMailBot. These permissions enable the bot to operate correctly on your server, such as reading messages, sending messages or managing channels. As a good practice, review these permissions to ensure they align with your expectations and server privacy policies. After giving the necessary permissions, the final step is to confirm the addition of ModMailBot to your server. Once confirmed, you should receive a notification or you'll see the ModMailBot magically appear in your server's member list. This is where the real fun begins as you now have a powerful tool at your disposal to manage your server's direct messages more effectively. But wait, there's more. Once ModMailBot is a part of your server, you'll want to familiarize yourself with its commands and functionalities. Take the time to explore its documentation or support channels if available. This exploration can significantly enhance your ability to utilize the bot fully, ensuring that you're leveraging its capabilities to benefit your server's community. As a final tip, Consider announcing the addition of ModMailBot to your server members. This ensures that they're aware of the new way to reach out for support or inquiries, and it fosters a culture of openness and accessibility within your server. Congratulations, you have successfully added ModMailBot to your Discord server. With this bot, you're now equipped to handle messages more efficiently, offering timely support and fostering a closer-knit community. Remember, the most successful communities are those that continually adapt and leverage new tools to enhance their members' experience. With ModMailBot, you're a step closer to achieving that ideal. So go ahead, explore its features, customize its settings to fit your server's unique needs, and watch as it transforms the way you interact with your community. Thank you for joining me in today's tutorial. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks on making the most of your digital experiences. See you in the next video.